Hey, what's going on, lads? Viper here, and uh, I know this is a tutorial, <laughs> as you can probably tell already, but uh, I haven't done one in bloody ages, and it's time for me to get one out. And what I'm going to be doing now is, if I just quickly go to my channel here, um, not that one, <laughs> no, not that one either, this one. You will uh, see that I've just kind of updated my uh, my bio here to my my channel is dedicated to my personal editing project, tutorials to help my subscribers, and a bit of commentary on the side. And that's basically what I'm going to be doing with my channel from now on. Gonna get out possibly two tutorials a week, maybe an edit a week, and a commentary a week. I'm gonna get a lot back in more to uh, video making and just get a shitload of tutorials out, tons of commentaries. Well, not tons of commentaries actually, tons of edits and a bit of commentary as well on the side. So, yeah, guys, uh, that's just a quick update before we get into this. And the tutorial is going to be about a uh, basic time map syncing. So, if you guys use multiple programs, um, some of you may know. I just use After Effects because uh, as my main editing program I don't use anything else besides uh, maybe Beaujou. But um, if you guys use Vegas as well, uh, and I would I would just really encourage you to come over and just use one program because it's just it's just more professional, more easy. It's just I don't know. I just use one program to find it better, uh, and I'm sure you would too. Just to have everything in one place, uh, rather than what I don't, what a lot of people do and what I used to do in the past was edit in here and then sync in Vegas because apparently people think it's easier when really it's not maybe After Effects does take a little bit more time but uh, overall it's just pretty much the same thing now what this is is it's gonna be a time remap syncing so uh, I've already got an example later there but basically this is kinda of basic syncing just to get you into syncing in After Effects and from there you can learn Twixter syncing and uh, that'll be my next tutorial is how to sync with Twixter and then um, but there are a few tutorials out there already. If you want to go look them up, you can just think, say, uh, t uh, syncing with Twixter. That's how I learned, to be honest. Uh, just look them up, and uh, you'll find how to sync with Twixter. But just to get you into it right now, this is what um, this is what basic syncing is, and I still use this uh, to this day. I use it in pretty much every single project because it's just the best way of doing things. So uh, I'm taking up a lot of time here, just talking about random shit. So let's get actually let's actually get into this. So I got my song in here. It's just Darius Malibu Blue, and then. Um, well, you can see here, and how you get up this waveform is just go LL really quickly, or just drop it down, and uh, you can see this waveform exactly the same as Vegas. And um, basically, what this allows you to do is find the drops, the kicks, the snares, the beats, everything that is made up of, like everything a song is made up of, and you can then sync to whatever you want. So you can sync to the snare, the kick, the beats, whatever you want, drop. And uh, what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sync to the kick this time and um, basically uh, what you want to do is you want to have your thing selected your your uh, your thingy your god layer <laughs> selected and you want to ram preview make sure your frame it is the exact same as your composition you can see up here 59.94 59.94 if you if it's faster or slower it'll just sound retarded so uh, you better make sure that's the same and then you can click ram preview right up here and what you want to do is every time you hear a kick, a beat, a snare, whatever you want to sync it to, whatever the hell you want to do, you want to press the star button or the multiplication button on your number pad. So you have to have a number pad for this. You can't just press shift 8. Uh, you have to have a number pad with like a dedicated multiplication button. So for some laptop users, this may not work. Um, but maybe there is another way to make markers. I don't know, to be honest, to, to be totally honest with you guys. Uh, just, you can just Google that. That's how I found out. And basically... You want to listen to it and keep putting markers, and I'll show you what a marker looks like. You just press the multiplication button and marker. You can get a marker like this on every beat, and I've already prepared a sample here. And if I just zoom in, you can see that my markers are pretty much perfectly on the little kick beat thingy right here. So, um, but like what this will do is, like, yeah, uh, it'll just give you a reference point to where the kick is and where the beat is on the song. Um, and if it's like like a lot of the time it will be off you have to like you ha can't make it perfect every time so once it's like when you have it like this it won't be that far off but like if it's say like here or maybe here just put it straight back to the actual kick so now onto the second part which is the clip you want to go to right click time enable time remapping and you will see this kind of keyframe thing pop up and what you want to do is you want to find where he shoots so I don't think I get a kill there oh I do okay so that's one, like right there where he shoots or where he gets the hit marker, whatever you want to do. I'll just see where he shoots because it's a TNR mode. 
just click that uh, little keyframe, the little diamond, and you want to go back like 15, 20 frames. Let's go 20 frames. And if you don't know how to do that, Control Shift and the arrow key, and back 40 frames. So you have 20 frames on each side of the shot, and that is the next shot. Same thing. Just like that. And I'm probably going to cut this out because it's going to be boring, but you, you get the idea now. Alright guys, we have all our markers laid out right like right there. So what we want to do is we want to go to the first beat. And we're going to bring this back to line up with the middle marker in the three marker seg segments. So you have three markers for each shot and the middle marker is where you want to line up. Then you go forward to the next shot which is right there on this marker, but you want to go to the song sync parts daily uh, on the marker on the waveform on the song and you want to highlight all of these keyframes and you want to just zoom in a bit and get this accurate and hold down shift and bring that over so now you have your shot right on the beat you can see where this is going already guys so you go to the next beat same thing except for you, you only highlight the ones you want to drag so that's these six and you want to make sure you get this one at the end as well, the one over here, right there. <clears throat> make sure you get that one too. So, now it's going to get every shot on it, and there's one more left to do, which is right there. Now, this is not as smooth as Twixter. Uh, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys, but um, this is just basic syncing, and I, there's not. I don't think I've ever done an edit where I haven't used this. So it's obviously very, very helpful, and uh, it works pretty much every time, no errors. And what you want to do is you want to make sure you've muted audio, so you go to L, drag that all the way down. Or alternatively, or alternatively just press the uh, press the audio button there. But um, I'll basically get rid of the audio on your actual clip. So then what you can do is you can just drag in your single gunshot sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ram preview this and see how it turned out. And it's not going to be perfect, but uh, it should be pretty okay for the tutorial. But obviously, you want to spend as much time as you can with it, so... Gonna run preview here and see what uh, see how it turned out. All right, guys. So that's how it turned out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed um, this tutorial. If you want more, I'll be making tons more. Like I said, so uh, just leave a like if this did help you anyway, because that would help me uh, like hugely. So if this helped you just a little bit, it would help me a huge bit. If you could just leave a like, it'd be awesome. So uh, without um, without saying any more, guys, I'm just taking up loads of time because I always just rant about random shit. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.